Hello! You join me here in Barcelona on the eve of the Mobile World Congress. And as usual, you can find our comprehensive up-to-date coverage on soyajinchao.com. Now I'm here because OnePlus has very kindly invited us to check out its latest phone. You've probably already seen the OnePlus 11. If not, you can check out our review in the top right corner. But there's a second part of the story. We're not here to check out a phone that you can already buy in Malaysia. There's a second phone that, to be honest, is a little bit more interesting. So we're going to go to the event and check it out. Come on, come on, let's go. We're late, we're late. Come on. As the name suggests, the OnePlus 11 concept is based on the regular OnePlus 11, which was launched earlier this month. In fact, from the front, you can't tell that there's anything special about this device. But it's a different story at the back. You can immediately see the cooling pipes that create a sort of wave effect, filled with water, oil, and mica powder. This is illuminated to give it an icy blue look. You can even see this on the OnePlus 11's distinctive circular camera bump, which features a gear shape pattern inspired by luxury watches. To circulate the liquid throughout the device, the 11 concept uses a piezoelectric micropump that is 1 20th the size of a conventional impeller pump. OnePlus claims the system can reduce temperatures by up to 2.1 degrees Celsius when gaming, leading to a frame rate increase of 3 to 4 frames per second. It will also cool the phone by 1.6 degrees Celsius when it's being charged, which enables charging times to be shortened, albeit by only 30 to 45 seconds. It must be said that these results weren't achieved using this blue liquid. It looks cool, <laughs> get it? But it doesn't actually dissipate heat very well. Instead, the company used distilled water, which doesn't look so impressive for a concept phone. There are a couple of other drawbacks. The concept is slightly thicker than the regular model, and it doesn't have such a big battery at just 4,200 mAh instead of 5,000. Otherwise, the OnePlus 11 concept is identical to the regular 11. It has a 6.7-inch 1440p AMOLED display with a 120Hz adaptive refresh rate along with 100W SuperBook fast charging. There's also a triple camera setup consisting of a 50MP main camera, 48MP ultra-wide, and a 32MP telephoto, as well as a 16MP selfie shooter. So there you have it, the OnePlus 11 concept. What do you think about the looks and the claims that OnePlus is making about the device? Let us know in the comments down below. Again, you can check out all our comprehensive, up-to-date coverage of the Mobile World Congress on soyachinchao.com. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and ring the notifications bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. As always, stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.